at center, Jalen Williams. At power forward, Jalen Williams. At the other forward position, Lugans North. At shooting guard, Josh Giddy. At the other guard position, Shea Gilgis Alexander. The head coach of the visiting team is Mark Dackel. Brett Berry and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. We've got Williams. Williams is out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Giddy in at the two guard spot. And for the Clippers, Leonard and Morris are up in the forward position. Gordon is out there with Russell West. And it's Zubots in at the center position. With teams still figuring out rotations, Brent, at this point of the season, many players are unsure about their status in the lineup. Yeah, if you're not a veteran team or a team that's been together for a lot of years, Kevin, this is about battling for minutes to, to show you're capable of handling that responsibility, and that mentality is important to the coaching staff. So you got to be ready. you got to be prepared for those minutes. And you got to produce. Lots of throwback stuff to Kawhi's game as he's just feasting now in the mid-range. Giddy kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Outside Williams. Outside Dort. Six to shoot. Pass to Giddy. Misses the three. Here's the Clippers. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Mark Dagnalt. Uh, David, what did he say? Well, Kevin, they've had success against this team winning all three meetings in the season series. He said the game plan remains the same. Get to the rim and try to finish strong. Sounds simple, but not easy to execute. Back to you. Thank you, David. Dort. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Last time they faced off, it was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. It was a loss last time they faced up against each other. A very tightly contested game that they felt they could have won. Man, felt like they probably would have won if they weren't saddled with all that foul trouble. They had to piece together some makeshift lineups late in that game. That might have cost them. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary. Even more difficult to defend. But no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. Leonard, no luck. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Here's Dort. His three-pointers off the mark. 
Oklahoma City comes into this one after the win against the Clippers. Here's Gordon. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Great finish from Gordon in traffic. You like to see the smaller guys operate down low as long as they're patient. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue, but that's going to change soon. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. They're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. And the layup fall. Gordon's got five points so far. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. Gordon against Giddy. Outside Williams. Jacks up a three. They grab their own miss. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander with so many tools, he does a great job of using his athleticism, getting a second chance, and keeping that play alive. Now here's Leonard. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. To Giddy, but three, good on the triple. Josh Giddy. Impressive decision there as Giddy just shot that one. No hesitation. Leonard on the wing. Back to Westbrook. He can't get that one. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. Down low. Here's Williams, and a great Williams. assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Now, Gilgis Alexander, with that height at his position, allows him to do so many things other guys really pretty much dream of. Westbrook kicks to Gordon. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. They trail by one. Giddy against Gordon. Giddy the pass to Dort. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Man, you see his eyes? Westbrook never getting off the rim there, and he has the focus to absorb the contact and still convert. And really, whatever your take on Russell Westbrook is now, you can't deny his place in NBA history. Voted as one of the NBA's top 75 players of all time. Greg, it is impossible to argue against Westbrook belonging to that top 75 players list, isn't it? It, it really is, Kevin. I mean, his career numbers and accomplishments speak for themselves. A, a very unique player, easily one of the best during his prime. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Oklahoma City moving it around. Dort against Westbrook, pulls up on the elbow, and there's another Ooh, one for the Thunder. Throwing off the defense, creating a shot. Dort becoming a problem now. Here's Gordon. That shot off, and the Thunder going the other way now. Williams finds Dort, and here is Giddy. Zubac defending. And it's Dort, top of the key. At the elbow, Williams. Over Gordon. 
And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And I'm not really sure that's the time for the fadeaway, but he sure can make it count. Pass to Leonard. Back to Westbrook. Zubats with it. Leonard on the wing. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Morris against Williams. The dish to Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Dort shoots over Leonard. Lugan's and a little luck that time, but it drops. Dort got seven points in the game. Outside, Gordon. The pass to Leonard. Launches a three. Los Angeles with a fresh shot clock. Morris. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Defensive Terrific score there off the miss by Morris. Doesn't get a ton of offensive rebounds, but making that one count. And you just look at what Marcus Morris has done in his career. Well, such a solid forward in the game right now, averaging over double digits in the last eight years. But it's been that expansion and the fact that he can step behind the three-point line and be as deadly as he's been the past couple seasons. Uh, it's been a remarkable, consistent offensive production uh, for his career. Going forward, the Thunder have a ton of draft capital for them to put a lot of first-round picks either to play for themselves or in play to make some significant trades. Lots of flexibility there. Williams can't hit. Los Angeles is gone 0-2 from B. Hill. Passes to Westbrook. And stolen by Giddy. Over Westbrook. And Giddy gets it to go. He has five. Pull-ups are not easy shots to sink, but Giddy with good balance that time. And Oklahoma City with all those picks, Brent, should be interesting to see how they use them. Yeah, and that process has already started in the 22 draft. They used some of that capital to line up some players they have on their current roster. So it's really interesting at some point what it is that the front office does to say, this is our team and this is who we're moving forward with. And Los Angeles with some changes. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox. Robert Covington comes in for Morris. Man subbed in for Eric Gordon. And then for Oklahoma City, Sars checked in. And Wiggins is subbed in for Williams. They get it back. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got five now. Yeah, such an aggressive rebounder from the guard position. Russell taking over on the inside. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Punch, counter punch. Impressive Shane, offensive production Shane, early on. Who's going to miss first every one time shot. one team scores, the other team right back at you? That's good from Gilgis Alexander. I mean, OKC's draft pick haul in the Paul George trade was massive. But the best part of that deal is getting SGA. Yeah, SGA has been the face of the franchise the past couple seasons, and this game just continues to grow. He's signed all the way through 2027. Is he the first building block, or is he going to develop into a player that people covet? And they're going to try to pluck away. We'll see. Here's Gilgis Alexander following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Pass to Wiggins. From past the arc, Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got four rebounds in this game. Leonard attacking. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now here's Giddy. He's got five. Just four to shoot. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Plumley with the rebound. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him there. And that one's good, Leonard. 
And the claw striking once more. He can be a dominant rebounder at the small forward position. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City moving it around. Here's Saar over Plumley. Saar. Saar gets the bucket. You're loving the confidence. Just rise and be free. And you know you can do this. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. Here's Westbrook. The Thunder making the shot. Back to Leonard. He feeds it to Westbrook. Over Giddy. And it's Westbrook missing. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Rob. And here they come. Here's Mann. It's rebounded by Giddy. Oklahoma City trailing. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul. It's going to be a Mason Plum. Getting one of those guys who, when he's on the floor, Shooting plays with that City. kind of joy Josh that Steve Kidder. Kerr often talks about with Steph Curry. This is a guy who wants to keep improving in any way that he can. He's off on the first. Brent, looking back, the Clippers have really put things together over the last decade. They have. Injuries have been a factor the past couple seasons, so uh, they haven't competed at the level, certainly, that their owner wants to. But they're trying to keep this core group of guys together. And uh, if they do that and they get health, there's a lot of talent there and a lot of guys who've done it on the biggest of stages. And they can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. You know, one thing, Greg, the Thunder have done a great job of, drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past, a few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just finding guys all over the world. Four on the clock. Man passes to Covington over Jane. And again, it's the Clippers missing. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for the Clippers. And this shot chart shows just how effective their offense has been this season. They're the top-ranked team in the conference, and they've gotten there because of how multidimensional their offense has been. They don't get their points from any one specific area on the floor. They can score from all over the place. First free throw is good. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they? Brent Durant and Harden and Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin. Going to that finals in 2012, I mean, obviously really young and green at that time. But unfortunately, Harden was traded away that summer. They took a hard line stance and uh, he was off to Houston and just think back would they have won titles together and how many here's Highland Ask to Leonard plays it up and banks it in Leonard's got eight points yeah you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard he just stays with it and is unshaken Wiggins surveying the floor here's Joe and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Leonard. Plumley trying to break loose. And Leonard gets it to go. Ten points for him. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Here's Dort. The offensive rebound. Jang missed inside. Clippers leading by four. And the pass to Highland. Ball stolen. And the Thunder pushing it up now. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Great effort and gets in a little razzle-dazzle 
at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. This is a demand, and here we go. Wiggins heading to the hoop. From down in the low post, it goes. Wiggins has got it all tied up now for the Thunder. Here's Leonard, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And the team leans on him for moments like this where they need him to dominate offensively. Pass to Dort from downtown. That shot is off. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the L.A. Clippers. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Jason made another one. All right, fans. Let's hear it for you. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. Oklahoma City shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going here in the second quarter. Williams is out there with Williams. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then it's Wiggins. And it's Joe in at the two. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Here's Highland. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. Josh the front Giddy. office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long-term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We continue to be forward-facing in that respect. Kevin, back to you. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. Six on the shot clock. Back to Gordon. And he knocks down the jumper. Gordon's got nine. And once Eric Gordon receives that pass, he's just rising up, so a natural rhythmic jump shot. Pass to Wiggins. At the elbow, Williams. Giddy, no one around him. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Knocked loose and stolen by Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Here's Zubats. Another one falls for the Clippers. Greg, father time is undefeated, and every player has to make the decision when it's time to retire. How big a factor was age for you? Well, you don't want to leave anything on the table, but your body will tell you when it's time. I know that was the case for me. Lock at six. Let's it go. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Joe's got the lead up to two now for the Thunder. And the Clippers LA call time out. here. And Kevin, they've been committing a lot of turnovers here. Taking care of the basketball is the number one priority right now in that huddle. They've got to tighten it up. Come on now. One, two, one. And a moment to check out Marcus Morris here. How he did last season. Last season, he averaged 15 points a game. Four rebounds and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. The shot's good from Westbrook. It might sound strange, but you can gain more confidence in your ball handling. That's on display right now from Westbrook. He could just get his shot anywhere on the court he wants it. Here's Giddy. 
from outside off the mark. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Gordon finds Batum. And the jam by Nicholas Batum. And a little slam dunk from Batum. That'll work. Thunder have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Wiggins outside. And there's the pass to Joe. And here is Giddy. Here's Joe. Shoots from 14. And there's another one for the Thunder. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Westbrook passes to Gordon. Back to Westbrook. Here's Coffee. The Clippers rebound. Passes it to Westbrook. Gordon for three. Tries yet again. And Morris with the lay-in. Morris has got five points so far. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Pass to Wiggins. Williams against Batum. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal. The Thunder shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Williams shooting two. That one falls for Williams. He makes one of two that time. Clippers have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Here's Gordon. No good that time. And the Thunder going the other way now. Outside Williams. Here he goes. That ball. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists now in this one. Outside Gordon. Westbrook dishes to Batum. Westbrook scanning the floor. He kicks it to Morris. From deep three-point range, rebounded by Joe. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step foul. too far. Thunder. Josh Giddy. First personal foul. First team foul. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle steps for the Thunder. Westbrook, they are committed to running the floor in this one, relying on their speed to get a lot of points off the fast break. Well, they've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. The first one falls. Russell Westbrook just out there and focused, trying to find ways in which he can help out his team to secure any win. Both good from the line that time. And it's Williams with the ball for the Thunder. They trail by one. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. The Clippers third. Everything clicked for them last year, especially on the perimeter, and they shot a very high percentage. A lot of that due to their offensive schemes. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain Thunder. possession. Basketball. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Here's Giddy. Good. And the nice Josh assist Giddy. for Williams. 
three points. Giddy's got the lead up to two now for the Thunder. Oh man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Pass to Morris. Here's Coffee. And again, no good by the Clippers. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Giddy the pass to Joe. Giddy against Westbrook. There's the pass to Wiggins. From deep. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got rebound number five here tonight. Westbrook up top. Williams with the block. Westbrook against Williams. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. To the middle. Here's Giddy. Morris with the block. And a rare block shot from Morris. Anticipates the move and just times it out perfectly. Passes it to Coffey. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself Aaron for Wiggins. whiffing a bit on that one. Clippers trailed by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Coffey. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Wiggins. And Coffey gets it to go. Oklahoma City has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. This team is credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia, and that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. Kicks to Westbrook. Morris outside. Here's Coffee, And he hits it to tie the game up. Coffee's got four points in the quarter. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. For the Clippers, Mason Plumley's checked in for Batum. Man subbed in for Amir Coffee. From the baseline. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points in the game. You're worried about the drive from Gilgis Alexander. He could still get in the mid-range and do damage. Gordon the pass to Morris. From ten feet out. Misses off the left iron. The thunder shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Jang the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wiggins outside. Here's Sar. Zubats defending. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. That's a bad turnover right there. But aside from that one, I think they've done a good job controlling the pace and the ball during the game. The Clippers trail. Here's Highland. No points in the game yet for him. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside, Dort. Back to Gildas Alexander. To the left wing. Outside, Dort. Six on the shot clock. From 13... Here's Saar. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. 
And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. 100 kicks to Zubats. And it's Covington atop the key. Here's Mann, covered by Wiggins. Mann can hit. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. Hits from the high post. Lugans, Dort. And it's a four-point Oklahoma City lead. And Lugans leaning in that time as he gets to the pull-up in the mid-range. Entered on the wing. Jane defending. Pass to Highland. Takes a three. That ball. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists tonight. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that Two the coaches will watch tomorrow time. with that player. Two you minutes. hate to see him give up in that situation. Wiggins with it. Now Covington defending. And the rejection by Zubats. Here's Highland. He'll just Alexander cover it. Nice job, SGA, coming in and using that long athletic wingspan. Driving the lane. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. One on one here. Here's Highland. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Jang against Covington. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Thunder have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. First one falls for him. And the Thunder making a change here. Mann's checked in. And Jang drops them both. 109 left to play here in the second quarter. The pass to Leonard. Here's Highland. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Over in the corner, Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder with another miss. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Here's Mann. And no good. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Passes it to Mann. Pick off in midair. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's the power and strength he brings. Kawhi able to absorb the contact. I'm not even sure he felt it and still knocks it down. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The line for your Clippers. Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. One shot. tied up with that one. And Kawhi Leonard continuing in the offseason to tinker with his game, trying to find ways to improve upon it, always working hard to bring something out the next season. Outside, Gilgis Alexander, the 10-footer. Nice jump shot, good. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Oklahoma City out in front. They lead by a bucket. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Teron Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Move the ball, share the ball, get stops, and get out and run in transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Teron. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. They trailed by as many as six points in the first period. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. And over to Shaq, now your take on the Clippers. What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box outs, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. One, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. The Thunder with the lead. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubats. Russell Westbrook out there with Gordon, and it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Luke. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Get the teardrop, and it's Leonard missing. The Thunder shooting 52% from the four. Nice work so far from them. Gilgis Alexander. Chalk up two there. Gilgis Alexander's got the lead up to four now for the Thunder. SGA on the inside, a nice finish and a strong one. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander's got four rebounds now tonight. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander, part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. Yeah, 6'6 six, six with a 6'11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass, and he can switch on to front court players defensively. That's what teams are looking for nowadays. Morris dishes to Westbrook. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, just taking on the defense in the paint, just no fear from Westbrook and not backing down from the rim protector that time. The Clippers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. the line for LA, Russell Westbrook at the line for one. And that one misses. The Thunder have gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's Dort. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists tonight. It's stolen by Dort. Three on three. Here's Giddy. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Clippers trail by seven. Outside Leonard. Pass to Zubats. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at six. Now the pass to Westbrook. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Here's Morris. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. 
And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Westbrook against Gilgis Alexander. Passes to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Outside Williams. Puts it up from 12. Offensive rebound. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The Thunder have gone 6 of 9 at the line. Williams at the line for two. That free throw missing. And he sinks the second. Clippers trailed by eight. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Morris against Williams. Here's Gordon. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. 11 points for Eric Gordon. And how about the setup? Man, Morris keeping his head up. Beautiful assist. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Williams with the ball. Guarded now by Morris. Count that one for Dort. Dort's got the lead up to eight now for the Thunder. And Lugans Dort, one thing you appreciate about him is he brings that competitive juice every night. Gordon outside. Here's Zubats. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Giddy. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. That's impressive stuff from Giddy just getting on the interior part of the defense. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Los Angeles calls timeout. Talking about defensive specialists. How about the hustle Lou Dort shows on D? Well, this is a guy you throw out there and you say, sick him, go guard the best player on the other team. And that's something that he takes that challenge on, takes a lot of pride on the defensive end. He's become a very important part of this team. Fans, let's give a big L.A. welcome to the Clippers gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Pass to Zubats. Dort against Leonard. Six to shoot. Pass to Westbrook. Let's it go with a three. And again, no good by the Clippers. Oklahoma City leading by ten. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Inside, Williams. And a great assist Gilgis. by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside Gordon. Leonard the bounce pass. Morris passes to Leonard. 
tries from 10, connects the jumper drops. Leonard's got 17 now. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Back to Giddy. Williams in the post, working on Zubox. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Can't get it to go. His fifth miss and 10 shots from the floor. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Clippers. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth rebound in this one. Back to Giddy. The pass to Williams. Now, here's Dort. He's covered by Leonard. Dort kicks to Williams. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Playing from behind right here, not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Back to Gildas Alexander. It's hauled in by Gordon. Now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. The shot's good from Westbrook. The guy who keeps getting better year after year, making the All-NBA rookie team first team in 2009. He hasn't looked back. Giddy finds William. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And the Clippers call time here. Get loud and proud. Let's hear it for your kid Clippers. Gordon for three, trains the three-pointer. Gordon's got 14. Well, if Eric Gordon gets the ball from beyond the arc, you have to respect his ability to knock those down. Pass to Dort. And stolen by Gordon. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. He kicks it to Leonard. Pass to Westbrook. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Taken away by Williams. Out and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Clippers trail by five. Let's a floater go. The Thunder pull it in. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Dort with the ball. Leonard picks him up. Shoots. Foul Thunder. Williams. Second personal foul. For the Clippers. For Mason Zubat. Plumley's checked in for Zubot. Robert Covington comes in for Morris. Mann subbed in for Gordon. Then for the Thunder, Sars checked in. And it's Jang in for Williams. For Los Angeles, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 for the field here in the third. Here's Leonard. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. How about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. Now, one of the 75 greatest. And he knocks down the first one. Amazing the way Kawhi Leonard has evolved throughout his career. Well, in the early part of his career playing in San Antonio, defense was his calling card. And you could even argue that his offense has gotten better than his defense, which is simply remarkable. One of the top all-around players in the NBA. Oh. 
Leonard hits them both. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Pass to Giddy. Shot clock at five. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. And the defense right now just guessing what they need to do to shut down Josh Giddy. Man passes to Westbrook. Here's Man. There's the pass to Westbrook. Passes it to Plumley. Back to Westbrook. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Westbrook's got 17 now. Strong move there. Russell getting his feet in the paint, and he can taste two. Pass to Dort. Pass to Jang. Fires the three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. And the pass to Mann. Back to Westbrook. Dort grabs the miss. Dort's got six rebounds now in the game. Passes it to Giddy. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Giddy setting the pick up, drew the defender to the roller, and then opening to shoot. Westbrook finds Covington. Right wing. Stolen away. L.A. foul, Robert Cunnington. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. And, and a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown Union for the score. Thunder. Uh, they've been in the zones for mid-range all game long, and, and they've made the most of any chance they've found in that space. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. The first free throw is good. Lugans Dort, just the guy who puts his head down and goes to work. He gives every bit of focus on every play, and teammates love what he brings to the court. And the Clippers making a switch here. Highlands checked in, and a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Joe's checked in. All three throws good from Dort. Clippers trail by seven. Mann passes to Covington. Here's Mann. Now here's Plumley. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Six on the shot clock. And the officials call for a three second violation. Oklahoma City ball. Oklahoma City leading by seven. Chang inside. He's guarded by Plumley. Plumley with some nice D. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Fires from deep. Nailed from three-point land. Three point Joe's got nine. Yeah, once again, he's getting it rolling. Three his confidence, his building, quarter. makes that shot Two almost minutes. impossible to stop. Picked away. To the paint. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First it's on Kawhi Leonard. For Oklahoma City, they have Shooting gone 9 of 13 City. from the line. Jay, two shots.
and the first one drops. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Jang drops them both. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Pass to man. Here's Highland. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Personal foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. For Los Angeles, they have shot the ball well from the free throw line, eight of nine. Taking two and shots. last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. And he makes the first. A different look for Oklahoma City. Wiggins is checked in for George. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Josh Giddy. And he makes both free throws. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Wiggins kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Chang the pass to Joe. 116 left here in the third quarter. And it's sent back by Leonard. And that's what you expect from one of the greatest defenders maybe this league has ever seen. Great play by Kawhi that time. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Pocket six. Let's it go from deep. And no good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Leonard the pass to Plumley. 4-3, Covington. He's off on that one. The Thunder leading by eight. The pass to Chang. A shot missing. Great D that time from Leonard. Lays it up off the glass. Leonard's got eight here in the quarter. Great dribble move there. Kawhi using refined ball handling skills to get wherever he needs to on the floor. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Good on the three-point shot. And the Thunder leads by nine. And so it's Oklahoma City in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. So for Oklahoma City right now, they've got Josh Giddy. Williams is out there with Chang. Then it's Lou Dort. And it's Joe in at the two spot. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Joe passes to Giddy. Chang against Morris. Dort wide open. No good from outside. Clippers trailed by nine. Morris inside. He's against Chang. Morris, no good. Oklahoma City shooting at 51%. Really solid. Joe, good. This is an area where Lou Dort is trying to become more effective as a playmaker. The Clippers have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. 
outside Leonard. It's stolen by Dort. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Shot clock at six. Morris kicks to Gordon. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris has got three assists tonight. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Westbrook against Giddy. Pass to Williams. And the rejection by Zubots. An even three-on-three -three break. Pass to Gordon. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. An effective jumper from Eric Gordon constantly has the defense playing that guessing game. And right now he's guessing right. Pass to Jang. Plenty of space. Eric Gordon with the rebound. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Morris, no good. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Giddy against Westbrook. Joe passes to Chang. Here's Dort. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. 25 points for Leonard. And that's the high motor, the long strides we're always talking about with Leonard. Killing it in transition. Joe passes to Giddy. Jang inside, covered by Morris. Williams kicks to Dort to stop the drought. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Gordon's got seven rebounds in the game. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Top of the key jumper, no good. The Thunder leading by six. Here's Dort. The nine-footers on the mark. George has got 20. And, and Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Los Angeles. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. The pass to Gordon. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Moore is trying to free himself up. Westbrook can't get it to go. Oklahoma City has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Giddy with it. Westbrook picks him up. And there it is for him. Josh Giddy. He's got 22. And Giddy hard to corral at his size. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Gordon, the pass to Zubats. Here's Leonard. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Jang's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Joe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Thunder, Isaiah Joe. Shooting two. The first one at the line is good. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Plumley is checked in for Zubox. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Williams, he's checked in for Jang. He's perfect from the line this time. 
Clippers trail by 12. Outside Gordon. Back to Westbrook. Takes the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Westbrook's got 20 points. Playing with stars throughout his entire career, Russell Westbrook won himself. But he's learned how to operate without the ball. Giddy the pass to Williams. Leonard against Dort. Three-pointer. The shot misses. And the Clippers will come the other way. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down. Oh, wow. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First, yeah, first some stiff foul. defense and the fouls. First not going to slow down Russell Westbrook. And he stays tough. LA, still gets that shot Russell off. Russell Westbrook, two shots. First one falls for him. He's off on the second. The Thunder leading by eight. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Gordon with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. In the corner, it's Westbrook. From the stripe. Rebound by Williams. Oklahoma City has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Passes to Dort. For the three. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Three-point basket. Williams has got three assists in the game. Clippers trail by 11. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Plumley. Here's Morris. And that one is good. And you see the body control. Morris taking the hit there, but still able to complete the play. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. In social media and the cult celebrity, a lot of pitfalls for players. Brent, is the NBA doing a good job preparing them to face those very public challenges? It's a really good question, Kevin. And I think what's interesting is to study players who've been in the NBA for a while that are embracing social media versus what you're seeing with younger players who have grown up with social media and how they handle that dynamic coming in. And I think, quite frankly, the younger players are a lot better at doing it than some of the older players. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys, during the last break, here's what Mark Dagnall was telling his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thank you, David. And Giddy gets it to go. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And dangerous in that catch and shoot game. In fact, anytime Morris can square up, he's a lot more consistent. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Westbrook, and he gets it to go. And how about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off just sensational stuff. Here's Westbrook. Again, the Clippers. Well, this is Westbrook just being an ultra competitor. He gets in there, and the defense has nothing to do. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Outside, Williams. Down low. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Westbrook against Dort. 
Plumley in the post. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Clippers. Mason Plumley. Shooting one. A free throw off from Plumlee. Oklahoma City leading by seven. Giddy, the open look. And a great assist Josh by Gilgis Giddy. Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth assist in this one. Westbrook dishes to Gordon. Kicks it to Leonard. There's the feed to Morris. Over Williams. And Starr pulls it down. Sars got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And there's the pass to Dort. Williams against Morris. Now here's Williams. Not a lot of room. Back to Dort. Shot from 12. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Clippers trailed by nine. Leonard finds Westbrook. Here's Morris. Count it. Number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. Nice job by Russell just not forcing anything on that play. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And check out who's coming onto the court right now. Time to get excited for your Clippers. And so here is Oklahoma City. Passes it to Giddy. Lock at six. Outside, Dort. The three-pointer, no good. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Seven-point differential. Gordon kicks to Westbrook. Two minutes remaining in the game. And a foul called on Russell Westbrook. Charging That's his fourth foul of the contest. Russell yeah, really Westbrook. good defensive play to cut him off foul. there and square up. First team foul. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Driving inside. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Over in the corner, Dort. That three off the mark. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. And who do you call when you need a big bucket for this team more and more? It's Kawhi. Westbrook against Gilgis Alexander. And he uses the glass on the lane. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Here's Westbrook. Can't cash in from close range. The Thunder leading by seven. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Morris with the block. And not sure they've got enough time to save himself. Looking unlikely right here. That time ticking away. And they get it back. Leonard inside. Defended by Dort. Second chance shot. Plumley. Good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And you could feel it from the second the ball landed in Plumley's hands that he had his eyes on the rim. Huge basket there. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Russell Westbrook, fifth personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Shea Gilgis Alexander. 
at the line for two. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. You know Shea Gilgis Alexander has so many of the qualities that you want in a leader. He fights, he's energetic, he's a team first guy, and he just looks for ways to get his guys fired up. Second one is good. They both at the line, and it's a seven point game. And, and that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free throw line. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by seven. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? Yeah, pure desperation right now. Do you think there's enough time? We've got 33 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Shoots from 12. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Giddy. Goes back up, and he lays it up and in. Josh Giddy. And the Thunder lead by nine. And Giddy, the youngest player in NBA history to collect a triple-double, so rebounding not a problem for this young prospect. It's a certain mindset right now to want the ball at the end of games, and Westbrook has it. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. For Oklahoma City, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Timeout. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by eight. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I'm going to use the cliche here. You can't take your timeouts with you, so they're going to use it. Here's coffee. Laces one from three. And if you give Batum some time to survey the floor, he'll find an open teammate. Eight seconds left in the game. And that's an intentional foul. First personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Josh Giddy. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And a tough break as a second attempt at the line. No good. Here's Zubat. No good. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. And that's a good point. I mean, a weaker team just might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and pulled it out. Well said. And 